A great man once said, A nation is judged by how they treat their animals. It was said by none other than the father of our nation. A person who lives by this example is a veterinarian. A veterinarian's profession is indeed a noble one. Everybody deserves a home. Everybody deserves to be cared. A vet gives a homeless animal another chance to survive by tending and caring for them and prevent them from harm's way. Illiterate farmers are given knowledge and awareness by none other than the vets and helped to strengthen the building blocks of our nation. They are also needed to protect and care for companion animals who mean the world to most people especially those who live alone. A vet not only treats the animals but also inspires many budding vets to do the same by being a role model. Every morning starts with a cup of coffee. Ice creams, milkshakes and sweets often make the day for us but we're all concerned about its quality. Vets indeed have a major role in monitoring their qualities. Our role in milk processing is standardization of milk because we are getting milk from different sources at a different composition of milk. So in this standardization, we are keeping the composition of milk on fixed, particularly in varieties of milk like double toned milk, toned milk, standardized milk and the cow milk. In the pasteurization of milk, the, all the pathogenic bacteria in milk are destroyed. He also checks the milk for bacterial load, heat stability and for adulterants such as starch, urea, etc. Fat test and quality testing is also performed for finished products and only then they are sold for human consumption. Almost every one of us enjoy chicken dishes. Chicken and other meat products are the cheapest source of protein. Let us now see what the role of a vet is in making the meat wholesome. The role is to ensure only healthy animals are presented for slaughter. We perform the anti-mortem inspection, well met pregnant animals, diseases like FMD, rabies, affected animals are element uh, are not passed for slaughter. Later, these past animals are subjected to a thorough post-mortem inspection of animals to eliminate any zoonotic diseases and also to condemn offals infected with heavy parasites. We also perform the meat sampling process to, to evaluate the drug residues in meat and offals. All microbiological operations are carried out in the lab to ensure safe and hygienic meat production. One health is one of the concepts that is gaining attention in the recent years which is nothing but considering the health of animals, human beings and plants as a single entity. We now see vets working in the medical field. She is an example of vets working in reputed institutions such as Jigmar and work towards improving human health. One of the important threats these days are the outbreaks of emerging zoonotic diseases. Pets ensure that the animals are kept healthy and also prevents the spread from animals to humans. I studied the virulence of Listeria monocytogenes and how to control it using natural approaches. After my postdoctoral training, I would like to work for CDC and USD, which are the federal government agencies in the United States, to develop uh, research policies for uh, improving food safety and animal health. My area of research is to investigate the potential of natural plant molecules in reducing egg-borne transmission of Salmonella enteritidis in chicken. 
as you all know one of the emerging threats to the uh, public health is the rise in antibiotic resistant bacteria so to combat that uh, i'm studying new natural avenues to reduce poultry pathogens uh, being a veterinarian i always intended to bridge the interface between the animal health and public health as a food microbiologist in order to ensure safe animal food supply i believe the strategy start from the animal health we all need entertainment to keep us away from boredom horse racing and dog shows are among the recreational activities that most of us love jockeys ride them but it's the vet's duty to keep them in shape here you can see a vet treating an injured race horse they are also responsible for breeding management nutrition and health care of animals kept in captivity the flora and fauna of india is known for its elegance and beauty protecting the wild means protecting mother nature but when danger approaches let's see how vets bring people together in helping wild animals when they are stuck in difficult circumstances Vets are also indirectly involved in increasing the GDP of the country. That is, by conducting dairy development extension programs such as milk yield competitions, calf rallies, etc. In order to create awareness among the cattle owners to improve output of an animal, vets aim at maximizing. the yield of an animal by starting at the feeding level by using least cost rations eggs are an important source of nutrients like proteins fat etc and egg farming adds to the gdp of the country Vets play a major role in keeping our country safe and secure by taking care of the animals used in military services. Their work doesn't end here. In case mother nature is angered and disaster strikes, they play a major role in rehabilitation. Sea level is rising. Glaciers are melting. temperature is hiking i know why it happens you know why and we all know why it is nothing but global warming it is a phenomena that can change green pastures into dry lands many people are involved in understanding the climatic change and vets are one among them A willing veterinarian, who is also adventurous, has got opportunities to serve the Indian Army 
along with the uh, different sources of input. A veterinary is working for higher education and definitely join the teaching profession. They can join the universities of professors and also the various research organizations and they can contribute much to the advancement of the medical science. They can counsel them on the uh, about the diseases which are of uh, zoonotic and uh, public health importance like the uh, He can definitely say at the end of his career that he is proud to be a vet. I am a vet. I am a vet. I am a veterinarian by profession and a veterinarian.